in three. They are rolling along. The Cyclones are the defending 2013 state champions, but repeating, Scott Reister says, is not the only motivation. In fact, Harlan is just as motivated by what they've lost since they last won. No matter how loud the Harlan fans cheer this week, she would always come to our game. She was our biggest fan. There will be a big void in the stands. Everyone from Harlan loved her. I mean, she was like the greatest person, and she inspired everyone. At the beginning of this season, Nadine Kinkle, a fixture in Harlan, lost her battle with ovarian cancer. She was 56. The week before she passed away, we went to her house and we just hung out with her. And it was just really special to us and it was fun to just be with her for those last, that last week, you know. It's, I think, um, extremely hard for everybody. We all just feel blessed to be a part of her life. She had the ability to make people laugh and cry in a span of five seconds. Her impact lives on. In one night, the team raised close to $20,000 to fight ovarian cancer. All in all, the community has raised over 60. You know, it brings a, another sense of purpose, I think, to these kids. She, she was really awesome. And make no mistake, Nadine is still here with her beloved Cyclones, as this week Harlan tries to repeat as state volleyball champs. Because she had this quote, we are strong, I am strong, but together we are stronger. And that quote has just been with us the whole season. The color teal for ovarian cancer is streaked through the player's hair. Nadine's initials and the word strong on their wrists. It gives us really good motivation to play with. And win or lose. They'll take a lot more away with them from our volleyball program than being able to put up a good block. They're, they're going to know life skills and they're certainly going to know things from um, a very special person about strength. At State Volleyball. We know she's with us. Scott Reister. KCCI, Iowa Sports Leader.